Right, I'm in the kitchen again. So um, what I'm going to do now, um, the, 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 the chicken has rested and uh, the Kiev filling has solidified. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some oil to the pan and I'm going to shut up the best way to cook chicken kids really 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 I'm going to do honest the truth with you unless it's really covered double treble shallow fry if you're a deep fry you've got to cover you, you've got to pan it at least three times to make sure that there's no gaps and then the, the butter stays inside what you don't want is to let the butter ooze out into the oil into deep oil no so here is my um my breasts so I'm going to skin side down on in the fryer slowly and what I'm going to do I'm going to start them off on the on the stove just to brown them and I'm going to finish them off in the oven all right so that's that one then I've got some um, legs that I was going to uh, finish off so Remember earlier on the carcass and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna quickly, 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 because as you can see that my workstation is a little bit tight at the moment. Um, can't see very much. I'll try and bend it like that. So you can see that. Just be, just bear with me, yeah. I've got a really tight little space, and I've just got to make do with the space that I've got. I'm just going to remove the leg, like that, and the thigh. Cut around and cut out. Go through the oyster. There's the thigh. There. So you've got your leg here. As you can see, that's the thigh, that's the leg. But there's a, a natural joint there, a natural fat joint. I'll just cut through that. No struggling with the knife. And that's the leg done. And then there's a an oyster here. So I'm going to cut it. I'll go around like that. Cut through it. Cut around. And then there's my thigh. This will then become stock. Um, it's the back of the chicken, so it's chicken back. It'll become stock, which I can use for soup, um, or what I'm thinking of doing later on is making a maybe chicken type noodle type thing. It should be amazing. All right. All right. So I'm just going to quickly pan this on. So I'm going to pass it through the flour. Egg, flour, deep fryer, forget about it. Clean down my section. And then, once I clean down my section, I'm going to uh, start to prepare my salad. Yeah, but before I prepare the salad, I will show you uh, a potato dish that I'm going to prepare as well. So, flour that, lift up the lid, and just add chicken. And then that will just Leave it for about eight minutes to fry. Don't take that long. Take it on the bone, approximately eight to ten minutes. Yeah. So, that's it. Make sure it's lovely uncoated. Straight in there. There is nothing more to do with that. That is going to fry. I don't need to do anything with that now. 
I'm going to just turn over the chicken kibs, let them go golden brown, put them in a tray, get them in the oven. So you've got that frying and that also frying, and then I'll finish it off in the oven. Then I'm going to, to prepare my salad. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, well, I can smell the, the garlic in the, in, the, in, in the chicken kibs. Right, now, I'm going to make a salad. Yeah, just look at these. Just give them a quick wash. Uh, I have washed it, but I just want to wash it again. Just to be sure, to be sure. There's nothing wrong with being hygienic, but just make sure that there's no bacteria in there because salad is not cooked, is it? Salad is raw. And if there's any bacteria in there, I'm going to cause a, a problem. So, um, I'll, uh, just make sure, double check, make sure. Let us go now. Right, so I'm going to make a quick salad to go with the chicken kibbe. It's quite healthy, isn't it? Right, so um, I'm going to start with some rocket. If I push this back a little bit, I'm, I'm wondering if I can just push this back a little bit like that. And I can maybe put the plate there somewhere. And just do something like that. And then, uh, let's see, we'll see, we'll see. Right. If I can put the plate there, like that, then uh, hopefully you can actually see. We actually, um, so I'm gonna, well actually, let's angle it properly. Watch what I'm doing first. I put a bit of rocket into the bowl. And I'm using some ready-made uh, salad dressing. And then, put a bit more in there. Then I'm going to put some cucumber into, the, into that same bowl. Right, so, if I uh, just cut that off. And, uh, down somewhere should be able to just squirt it, get the plastic off, and you will see me in action. Right, so I'm gonna get a cucumber. the salad is made it doesn't mean everything is going to go on the plate right it's about portion control right. now some cherry tomatoes I can leave them whole but when I can I'll cut them in half Just chuck them in there. That way, I've got more. They won't roll over the place or anything. I just like to chuck them in there. So this is a rustic salad. I'm not going to do any pretty patterns or anything like that. Right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do. I saw this Italian hard cheese, but it's vegan. I saw it in the supermarket. I'm going to try it out. It's supposed to be something like Parmesan. So we're going to have a bit of that in there. Not too much. It will uh, bring it to the next level. Right. Then, I'm going to 
take that and stick that on the plate like that. With the tomatoes and uh, much of it, it might all fit on there. It's not very much. I thought it was more than I anticipated. Salad from the top point of view. Can you see it there? Well, do that or do that. Hopefully, you'll see it. Yeah, so that's the salad. So, moving on. Um, healthy. So, I'm going to put some beetroot. Space for that beetroot somewhere. It's lovely. Right, so that's the salad. Last but not least, I'm going to add my chicken. Just give me a moment. Right, I've just gone into the oven and taken out. Well, take out the breasts like that, and what I'm going to do now, I am going to slice it, if I can, and then place it on the plate. Hopefully, so I'm going to cut it. And I want to show you what it looks like in the middle. It looks lovely. Look at that. Lovely. Right. Now I'm just going to slice it as much as I can. But it's quite firm. Lovely. But also it's quite moist as well. But it is cooked. I'm going to put all of it on there. Yeah, so I'm going to slice that. And then I'm going to try and put this chicken on my salad. Wow. So that it sits on the salad. Without falling off. Go. Chicken Kiev salad. Just add a little bit more cheese on top to sprinkle. And that is my chicken Kiev salad. Bon appetit.